Hello, it's Fide Master John Curtis from Australia, and uh, I'm with uh, none other than uh, Grandmaster Teddy. And uh, Grandmaster Teddy and I were going to have a friendly match. Okay, well, what well, Teddy? Uh, what what's what what uh, color would you like? Would you like white or black? Well, I can play any any color, Johnny. Well, um, Ted. I'll, I'll take the white pieces then because you're higher rated than me. Uh, I'm going to play d4. Uh, so as you can see, I'm getting my bishop out and I've got, I'm controlling the center with uh, these two squares here. And uh, what, what would your reply be? Well, I like knight to f6, Johnny. It's a good developing move. And Bobby Fisher used to always say, put your knights on F6. Oh, there you go. So Teddy says he would like to play this move, controlling these squares. And so he also could get a piece out so he can castle. All right, Teddy, well, I'm looking at this position very, very carefully. <clears throat> now I can see you really know what you're doing. Uh, I wish I, I probably should play something a bit unorthodox here. But um, I'm going to stick to the main line, Grandmaster Teddy. Do I call you Grandmaster or Teddy? Oh, just call me Teddy. Okay, Teddy. Right, so uh, I'm going to play C4 here. And uh, you can take your time and you know, deliberate what you think you should play in this position. If you can just explain to the viewers why you are making these moves. Uh, gee, Johnny. I like e6. e6? And why, why would you be playing e6, Teddy? Is that your move? Oh, lock it in, Johnny, lock it in. <laughs> lock it in. Sounds like a TV game show, Grandmaster. Um, all right then, e6. Yeah, I can see what you're doing. You're planning to play the uh, Queen's Gambit uh, uh, declined or, or accepted with d5. And uh, you've got you've got you've developed your bishop so you can come out with a check, and you can castle quickly. Would that be correct, Grandmaster? That's spot on, Johnny. You've got you've got it, son. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you, Grandmaster. Um, I'm I'm going to uh, just play um, knight to f3. I don't like knight here because you might just pin my knight and go into really deep complications and you'd have more knowledge of the uh, openings than what I would. So you're rated, what's your current rating, Grandmaster? Oh, I'm currently rated about 10,000, Johnny. 10,000, Ted. Oh, I haven't got a hope, have I? Oh, why there's life, there's hope, Johnny. There's, why there's life, there's hope. So I've got, I've got, I've got hope because I'm alive. Okay, Ted. I'm going to play G3. Um, G3. I've, I've had three moves. It's your move, Ted. Uh, what would you uh, play here? Are you, are you going to check me, or are you going to uh, uh, develop a piece? What are you, what are you, what's your plan? Well, I shouldn't tell you all my secrets, Johnny. <laughs> Teddy, you're not going to tell me all your secrets, but I can see your move anyway. You crazy old bear. Well, don't call me a crazy old bear. I'll show you, sonny. <laughs> Romeo, Ted, I know you're very competitive. And uh, what move are you going to play now? Ah, so you're playing the Bogo Indian defense, eh? That's the Bogo Indian. It says so on chess.com in the analysis room. Okay. It's a good move, Ted. I'm going to play my bishop in. I don't like the idea of putting my knight in here because you might play all this latest theory against me with c5. And I just want to keep my position tight and solid. Oh, well played, Johnny. <laughs> and so what, what move would you play here, Tim? Would you take my bishop? And if you wouldn't, don't take my bishop, why don't you take the bishop? If I take your bishop, I'm developing your knight on b1 to d2, Johnny. 
You know, I'm not here to help you. Oh, so obviously you're saying if you take my bishop, I take back with the knight, and that develops a piece. So you don't want to help me. So what move will you play, Teddy? Oh, now I see. So you're delaying, you're delaying the uh, the uh, idea. Well, I could take your bishop, Ted. I can take your bishop. Oh, that's a mistake, Johnny. It's a mistake. Why is it a mistake, Ted? Ah, now I see. Good move, Grandmaster. Okay, well, I'm going to protect my pawn. I'm protecting my pawn here. You wouldn't take that C pawn, would you, Grandmaster? You wouldn't take that C pawn. You're thinking about it, aren't you? You're not sure, are you? Grandmaster Teddy's not sure. Oh, I'm pretty sure I know what I'm doing. Okay, Grandmaster. He's taken the pawn. Grandmaster Teddy's captured the pawn. Oh, what do I do here? I've lost a pawn. Okay. I probably should develop all my pieces. Um, I could play pawn here and attack his queen. I wonder what the grandmaster will do. I'm going to play pawn here and attack your queen, grandmaster. What are you going to what What are you going to do about that? Where's your queen going? I'm just going to retreat my queen, Johnny. I'll put my queen on c6 and I'll threaten the pawn. Oh, you're threatening a pawn. I, I didn't think about that. So you're actually threatening this pawn. Well, I've weakened that. You've attacked it twice now. Um, oh dear. This is not good. Um, oh. Grandmaster, you're making things difficult. I thought it would be uh, easy once you took that pawn. Maybe I made a mistake pushing my pawn to e4. Was that wrong? Was that wrong, Teddy? It was wrong, Johnny. Uh, knight c3 was stronger. Oh, so what you're saying is that in this position here, I should have played knight here. Is that right, Grandmaster? Oh, that's right, Johnny. So that's what I should have played, but I didn't. I see. Now, now it's all clear to me. Play there. You played here. Now you're attacking my pawn. I see, Grandmaster. Okay. Right, well, I, I, if I play knight here, you just take the pawn off. Damn. I might have to sacrifice another pawn here or play pawn here. Yeah, I can't sacrifice two pawns against you. You're too dangerous. So I'm going to push a pawn forwards and uh, see what, what move you make, Grandmaster. I go what move you make here. Okay. Ah, so you've chosen knight to d5, Grandmaster. Yes, I'm celebrating. I'm Put him in knight in the centre of the board, Johnny. I'm, it, where it's, it's strong and active. Strong and active. Well, controls a lot of squares. Well, there's not much I can do. I've got to try to get rid of that stupid knight. I'm going to play knight here. I don't like exchanging pieces, but... Uh, maybe I should just castle somehow. I'm going to play bishop to d3 because that stops your checks. Stops your checks on this square here. And now I can just castle. And I might be able to play rook c1 and hit that stupid coin. Is that a good idea, Teddy? Well, that's a great idea, Johnny, but 
Don't forget I can make moves too. All right, Grandmaster. Now, uh, let's have a look. What are you thinking here? Because I've got to try to think of what Grandmaster Teddy's thinking of. He's obviously got a plan. He's going to make a move. His queen is badly placed. But he has stolen a pawn. I wonder what Teddy's going to do here. Ah, did you play d6, Grandmaster? Yeah, I played d6. It, it, it gives an escape square for, for McQueen to d7, Johnny. Oh, I see. You, you, so you've got a pawn up, and now you want to put your queen on a safe square. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, well, I'm going to castle, Grandmaster. Now what are you going to do? What would you do in this position? Well, you just took your queen back. It's a bit passive, isn't it, Grandmaster? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just putting my pieces on a better square. It was on a bad square, now I'm putting it on a good square, Johnny. Okay, so you, it was on a bad square. I agree, it was on a bad square. And now you're putting it on a good square. Well, I can't hit the queen now because it's it's moved away. So that, that sort of defeats the purpose, doesn't it? Maybe I should still... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just centralise. I'm going to have to bite the bullet here. I'm going to play knight here. I don't know that that does much good, but I'm going to play knight here. I don't want to play knight here because you just take it. And then you'll dig in and you'll win with a pawn up. I'm going to play knight here and try to get some complications and play. Is that a good idea, Ted? Oh, I'm a pawn up, Johnny. <laughs> You're a pawn up. Okay. Um, the engine says black is better. Uh, um, you know, if we look at the evaluation bar, Grandmaster, it does say that your position's slightly better with the pawn up. Okay. Well, I wonder what you're going to do now. Oh, the engine sort of like that move. It's about equal to the position. Well, maybe I could bring my knight up now or something. I'll try to get my rook on C1. I know I can't get my knight in here because your pawn move has stopped my knight moving forwards. Hmm, this is not easy. Well, the engine didn't like your last move. Oh no, it likes your move, Grandmaster Teddy. It says that uh, it's not a bad move. Its position's equal, apparently, even though you're a pawn up. Well, we'll see what happens in the end game, Johnny. <laughs> Grandmaster. So it's my move, eh? Oh, hold on. What if I go on over there and attack your king? I'm going to threaten that pawn down there, and if you castle, I might get an attack. What? How about that move, Teddy? Teddy, what are you doing? You're opening up your king, aren't you? I know what I'm doing, Johnny. Throw your best at me, Sonny. <laughs> Throw my best at you. But I can um I can always uh give you a check. What are you gonna do about that one, Ted? Oh, it says it's a bad move. Oh you put your queen there, Teddy. 
I like to change queens, Johnny. I, I do like to change queens occasionally. <laughs> okay, well, um, I probably shouldn't do this, but I'm going to take the queen. I'm a bit scared. Ted, you've got some plans. So you recaptured the queen. And the position, the engine's saying that position's better for you, Grandmaster. Okay, I'm going to have to do something because you're obviously, you, you understand the position a bit better than me. Uh, if I play my bishop here and take the knight, that means I could take this pawn with check. So now, what move can you play to stop me taking your knight, taking your knight, capturing your knight, Grandmaster, and then play rook takes pawn check? How do you stop that, Grandmaster? I don't know how you're going to stop that. I'll show you, Johnny. Have a look at this. What are you going to do, Ted? Oh, now I see it. Why couldn't I see that that defensive move? Couldn't see that one. Uh, I can double your pawns, Grandmaster. I'm going to take your pawn off. I'll take your pawn off. And now I'm going to take your knight. What are you, what are you going to do about that one? Well, I've got to recapture the bishop, but I'm doing okay. Have a look at the evaluation bar, Johnny. I'm looking at the evaluation bar, Teddy. I'm looking. It says black is better. Um, you, you do know that I'm very strong in the end games, Teddy. I'm very strong in the end game. Well, I've heard all about your end game strength, John. Oh, 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 very, very, very uh, impressed. You are. Well, would you like to have a draw then? Um, I've got equal chances. The evaluation bar says it's your, your advantage. I'm a bit concerned that you might turn this into a win. Um, uh, Johnny, because you're a friend, I'll give you a draw. Do you want a draw? My position's much better, but uh, I'll give you a draw, son. Yeah, I'll shake hands on that, Ted. Can we shake hands on that? Thank you, Grandmaster. I've just had a draw with Grandmaster Teddy, rated 10,000, and uh, no doubt uh, this is the latest theory. Carlson will be watching this, this game very, very closely, as will Hikaru, Ali Reza, Faruja. And uh, and the gang from the late title Tuesday, they'll all be watching it. And uh, Grandmaster Jaws Pen will probably take special notes. But uh, thank you very much for the game, Grandmaster. I think I've learned a lot. I can see where you've got a, a, a distinct advantage. Um, you've got very active pieces. Your pawn structure, your pawns might be double, but... Uh, You've got uh, a lot of potential with open lines and rapid development. So, uh, yeah, I'm very happy to take a draw against you, uh, Grandmaster Teddy, because I respect your play. Okay? I respect you too, Johnny. Why don't you show one of the viewers one of your games that you played tonight? You want, to, want me to show them that game I played tonight? Okay, all right then, I'll show them that game... I've got to go into the, well, firstly, yeah, I'll go into the, um, oh, hold on, we'll, we might as well have to do a, re, a quick review of this. i do the review of the game. Right. And, uh, oh, you played at 93.1% accuracy, Grandmaster, I can see now. Uh, you played at 93.1%. We'll show the viewers. There it is. Grandmaster Teddy played it. He was playing black and he had 93.1% accuracy and I had 90.1% 90 90.1% accuracy. And what rating performance did, did I play at? Well, it doesn't show Grandmaster. It 
doesn't show it doesn't show the rating performance but it does say that uh, your accuracy rate was much higher well what do you expect I'm 10,000 rated okay right okay Teddy point taken point taken what I'll do is I will uh, go on and I will uh, show the players uh, my game that I played um, I, have, I played a very good, what I thought was a good attacking game against what Pat? He was rated 2106. And I, I played at 90.3% uh, 90, accuracy. And it wasn't a bad attacking game. Perhaps you, you can fill us in there and give us a few ideas about what you think about this particular game. And this is the uh, final position. Um, I opened up with D4 Grandmaster and uh, what Pat? He, he's uh, actually from um, Germany, Grandmaster Teddy. And uh, he played D5. So I played C4. And he replied C6. And I really wasn't sure about the way I handled this. Uh, so I'd like to have your thoughts on this uh, uh, because I can only learn. And I suggest to the viewers too, if you play a strong player, like I played Grandmaster Teddy, if you play a strong player, what I suggest you do is try to analyse the game with your opponent afterward. Uh, they might not have time to sit down and analyse with you. Um, not all strong players will avail themselves and be courteous enough to um, sit down with you and go through the game, but a lot of them will too because there are a lot of uh, good-hearted people out there that would like to see you improve and uh, make chess a better place for everybody. Okay? So... Um, Right, they might not reveal all their secrets, but they might just give you a few tips. Uh, C6, I played E3, Grandmaster. It's, it's, um, I know it looks like a bit passive, but uh, what, what did you think of that move? Oh, when I first started playing chess, I played moves like that, Johnny. <laughs> did you hear that? Grandmaster Teddy says that when he first started playing chess, he played moves like the one I played. So he's so advanced, obviously. He's been playing Layla and uh, Stockfish and uh, all the artificial intelligence. And uh, no doubt he's playing on a much higher level than me. Um, but anyway, he, my opponent played Knight F6 and I played Knight C3. And I thought that was a logical consequence of my previous move. Uh, continuing to put some pressure on the d5 square here so we've got the pawn there and the knight and uh, now we can develop the other knight and start trying to castle would that be the right idea in this position grandmaster you're, you're quite right johnny that's about the way to go you've got to get your pieces out and knight f3 is uh it's, it's really required early well, knight f3 is required early according to grandmaster teddy my opponent played e6, and I did, Grandmaster. I, I, I must have heard you. I did play knight to f3, and my opponent played knight b5 to d7. Is my opponent playing well, Grandmaster? Huh? Well, he's playing good. You what, Pratt? What Pat? His name is. He's two thousand one hundred and six. So he's a good player, John. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Teddy. Um, well, I played Bishop D3, and then my opponent took the pawn. Teddy, I was in shock. I was. I was in total shock. Anyway, I captured the pawn back with my bishop. I thought, oh, that's logical. What did you think, Ted? I thought, oh, that's logical. <laughs> Great minds. Great minds think alike, Grandmaster. Um... He played b5. Now he was chasing my bishop 
and it's here that I wasn't sure where I should place my bishop. Well, don't take the pawn. No, Grandmaster, I did not take the pawn. Right, I actually moved my bishop back to b3. And, um, uh, well, the, the, the engine said that uh, I played with 90-something percent accuracy. And he played bishop b7. And I thought, he's, he knows what he's doing here. And I thought, I've got to be careful because I could see this move c5 coming very quickly. So I castled because I got scared, Teddy. Well, don't get scared, Johnny. When you play chess, you've got to be brave. Ah, oh, okay. So I thought sometimes it's good to be scared because you overprotect your position. No, oh, Johnny, you've got to be brave. So you've got to be brave when you play chess, according to Grandmaster Teddy. Anyway, he played a6. So he's protecting this pawn. So he can't push this one uh, until this one, while well, this one was loose. So um, he's protected the pawn. Played queen to e2, and I thought that's not a bad move because it it clears the way for the castle to go to d1, and then, then I can put pressure on his queen. What did you think of my idea, Teddy? That's perfect, Johnny. If you watch the grandmasters, watch the grandmasters playing chess, they do exactly the same thing. Grandmasters, so I'm, I'm playing like a grandmaster, am I? Well, you're not playing like a grandmaster. You only got 90%. The grandmasters, the super grandmasters get 95%, 96. 95 and 96%. I had a few short games like that, grandmaster. Anyway, he played C5. So I played rook to D1. That was my idea. Remember I said that uh, the rook on this square would be having a look at his queen down there. He pushed a pawn on my bishop, Teddy. He was threatening my bishop. Anyway, he, I played. I moved my bishop back one square, and then he played here. He wants to castle, Grandmaster. Well, in that position, I want to castle too. <laughs> so, in that position, you'd like to castle too. Now, so I, I played e4, and he played this move, h6. What did you think of that move? Well, that looks like a weakness, a long-term weakness, Joey. Uh, the H6 pawn didn't have to be moved. If you have a look at the only razor, Ferugia, if he sees a pawn on H6 like that, he'll take it off. <laughs> <coughs> well, I'm not Ali Razor Ferugia, Grandmaster Teddy, but I saw the same weakness. I thought, oh, he's created a weakness near his king. Anyway, so I played h3. The idea was to stop his knight going there on some variations. And I thought, oh, I might even be able to play knight here and knight there. And also my king can escape the back rank if some checks come down later. We played queen to a5. And I, I was mystified about this move, Teddy. Totally mystified. Anyway, it was in this position that we played d5. Now... I wonder what the chess engine says about this move, d5, Grandmaster. What do you think the engine says about this move, d5? We're going to go and have a look at the engine and see what the engine says about it. Because we're in the analysis room. We played this mysterious move, d5. Oh, H3 was wrong, Ted. The engine says H3 was not a good move, right? But it did say D5 that I played was a good move. So it, I got an exclamation mark from the uh, chess engine, Teddy. I saw it straight away, Johnny. I saw D5 straight away. Well, you would. You rated 10,000, you burk. Don't call me a burk, Johnny. Have respect. I'm a grandmaster. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ted. Sorry. <coughs> Shouldn't call you a burke. It's a bit of bullying, isn't it? 
I can't bully you anyway, you're too strong. Anyway, uh, I played that d5 move, and then, you know what he did, Ted? He pushed the pawn. <coughs> and apparently that's the best move. I played d6, and apparently that's a star move, best move. Anyway, <clears throat> in this position, he played bishop to d8, and he got a star move for the best move, Grandmaster. And the engine says, this move puts the bishop on a safer square. So I played knight to d5, because I didn't know what else to do. <clears throat> and the engine said, it's a good idea to take the outpost, an active square where the knight cannot be kicked out by a pawn. Isn't that interesting? So uh, there you go, that's what I did. He, he took it off. That was the best move. He took it off, Grandmaster. And so he should, Johnny. It is the best move. Thank you, Grandmaster. Yeah, thank you very much. I really applaud having your... Do you know that I played with a 2,550 rating performance in this game? I did. I played with a 2,550 rating performance. There it is there. 2,550. You didn't help me either. I, I played that game all by myself, Grandmaster. I've been watching your games and getting some ideas about, you know, from the way you play. Well, thank you, Johnny. That's very kind of you to say that because uh, the chess police have been uh, questioning me over the last few years about my insane chess rating. Yes, the, we all know about how the chess police, the chess police have been questioning Grandmaster Teddy, but uh, we know he's a good player and... Uh, Anyway, my opponent castle, and that's the best move. He gets a star move for that. And now, here we go. I played knight h4. This was to confuse him. And, uh, well, he must have got confused because he played rook c8, question mark. <clears throat> um, it says white was better. So before he made this move, um, his position... Uh, but now that their position is winning, right? So my position is now winning because he played this move. Isn't that amazing? You wouldn't think so, would you? But I played knight to f5, question mark, exclamation mark. It's an inaccuracy and the engine says you overlooked an opportunity to play a hard to find move, right? So what move would I have missed? Is a hard to find move in this position, Teddy. And what move would I have missed? It wasn't this move, was it, Ted? Yes, it was. The best move in this position is bishop to h6. Oh, well, I saw it straight away, Johnny. You saw it straight away. Yeah! <laughs> Grandmaster Teddy saw that move straight away. However, I didn't see it until just now. Okay, so I played knight to f5. And I missed bishop to h6. He played rook to e8. Star move, best, uh, best move. And then I played bishop to h6. And, Grandmaster, what did I get? What did I get, Teddy? Oh, you got a double exclamation mark, Johnny. Is that good? Oh, that's excellent, John. Double exclamation mark. I got four exclamation marks for one of my moves. Yeah, but you're 10,000 rated, ten, grand, Grandmaster Teddy. I'm happy with two exclamation marks for one move. I think that's lovely. Anyway, my opponent played G takes H6. And I thought, what move do I play here? And I played Queen to E3. Star move, best move. And now, as you can see with the evaluation bar, uh, White has got a completely one game. 
and my opponent just sat there looking at the position, looking, 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 but he couldn't find a defence. So he resigned. So that was the end of the game. What did you think? What did, did you like my attack, Teddy? What did you think of my attack? I think your attack was simply magnificent, Johnny. And it was a pleasure to play you tonight. And uh, I'm happy that you were able to secure a draw against me, despite me having a superior position. <laughs> Don't remind me about your superior position. I know you're superior, but it is true. I'm very happy to have got a draw against you. And uh, with that, we're going to end our video. We hope you found it entertaining. Um, it's, it's the first time that I've ever played Grandmaster Teddy in an actual, you know, like hard contest. And, uh, well, Grandmaster Teddy was very gracious and uh, gave me a, uh, a draw, even though the chess engine said that his position was better in the final position. So, but I was happy to get a draw. So uh, with respect to the Grandmaster, of course. And uh, with that, we're going to end our, end our uh, recording. And uh, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't followed my channel already, make sure you follow the channel. And uh, if you want to make a donation to Grandmaster Teddy and myself for the content, well, the PayPal link is, is in the uh, game description at the... Uh, in the video okay bye bye for now god bless you all as we say and it's bye bye from me and it's bye bye from me too it's bye bye from grandmaster Teddy.